Hi, and welcome back to the Trucking Scribe. I'm still working on my Fairyland journal, the expandable journal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this big envelope with a, has a card in there somewhere. i got to put a tab on. We're going to just look at this house envelope, and then here's another one. And if, I'm not sure if we're looking at these two or not, but if not, I will do different videos on them. So I hope you're enjoying this Fairyland series of journal for the journal and the ephemera. Let me know what you think, which one of these uh, envelopes, pockets, and stuff that you like the best. Thank you guys, and have a great day. Let's see, that's going to be too big, I think. She might not be. I think she will be. I'm going to try that one. Right now, I'm just guesstimating. Let me see. Probably wouldn't hurt to have this a little bit bigger than the envelope. Okay, so I want to use the black if I can get it or put it there. Okay, so this is my first time ever using the stamping platform, but these bigger ones is definitely one of the reasons I got it. To make this much easier. Let me see. So I'm running out of here. I did get this though. I don't know if it's me or the stamp or what. I'm already getting ink up there. Should I get some up there? I don't know why my body is not stamping good. And if it's an issue with the Okay. Well, I get some issue with the stamp. I don't know. Where my other piece go? Let 
That one did better. I wonder if it's the paper. It's gel. Probably the stamp that was messed up. A little bit more on the body. And that does look really nice. It's still a little crooked. I need my glue book. Where did they went? So what I'm going to do is just go ahead on some of these glue them all the way top to bottom because you will see both sides of these this envelope so I'm trying out the scotch brand I don't know if I'm going to like it or not yet. So. And there are different ways you can do this. I'm just, I like to collage. I know that Debbie showed the other day how to take that window and make your cutout right there. Right, this is where I'm going to cut it right here. Is pretty. It's just up on top of that. So it's going So far, I'm liking this. I'm 
I have to Monday this into a video because I am inking each little piece I haven't done it beforehand. I need to go all the way. Maybe up here. Let's see that. I did not use that one. I'm just going to put that on that there. I'm going to trim it a little bit so it will matter on the thing. Well, I'm thinking this is going to need a little color some kind of way. Although I know it's collage, but you can add stuff to it, so that helps. I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to just cover the whole page. And this particular envelope may not go in this channel. Well, we'll see. And when we get done, we have to think. Much enough been done all day. Put that one up there.
Put this right there, and then I'll trim it up there. I need to trim it just a little bit more, and I'm not going to clean my scissors before I leave the office tonight. That way, that glue. I need a piece right here. I think some of the problem is the pit is bad. It's just such a bright blue, but it is in the collection. It's okay, we'll just go over it with something else. Put some paint right there. So far, I have to say I'm liking this, this glue. Just a little 
So I wanted to make a house on the loop. That does me back up. I'm going to just make this clear a little bit. So what I'm doing is I have a basket and an envelope that I'm putting stuff in. So I've already got some pockets and stuff, but I've recently done videos, so I didn't think I really needed to do another video. Okay. So this house thing, house thing, this house envelope that I was thinking about doing, I wanted So I don't want to use the ones with the windows in them. I don't know if I have windows. There's one. So I've got my two envelopes. What I want to do is I want to take one. Well, I want to take both of them. I don't remember how I did this, how she did, how, I believe her name is Lillian. So I'm cutting this little bit off and then I'm going to take my scissors. I made a fold right here and I made another fold which you'll see in a second just while we're doing that, take my scissors and I'm going to cut up to that second line. So I'm cutting up to the second line. Right here. Then I'm going to take this and cut it off. And I'm going to take that part and I'm actually going to put it inside, but I need to put some glue on it before I do that. So I ordered some stainless steel pens the other day and they are not stainless steel. I need to know what I can get from my glue bottle. So now this is just going to fold over. A little notch right there in the middle. Now, now we're going to wait. So I want a little door, I think, that actually might fit pretty good, actually, you know, I think it will. So, 
So what I want to do is have my window in, but I want a little bit to come over, just like I was doing with the other envelopes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue that to my page. So what I'm doing is I'm using my light to see where my door is. Not that I'm doing a very good job at it. Uh, but anyway, okay, I'm going to come back and try and straighten it up best I can and check again before oh, it's almost perfect. So I'm going to trim my edges off here. And I feel like I'm doing the same thing we did in the other. On the journal, we're just going to glue these edges down. Then over here, I'm going to do the same thing as I did. I'm going to cut some off of that. And then I'm not actually miter these corners. I may be doing this wrong, but we'll find out. So what I want to do is just push that little piece down in there. Which is getting kind of full now. I'm going to glue this down, and depending on which direction, if you want to be a floating pocket or a full envelope pocket, you decide whether you want to put a back on it or not. I don't think that I'm going to put one on it just because I really don't need to do all this right now. So what I'm going to do is I want a piece to go across the top right there. I'm going to leave that little bit of extra there so it folds. Let me see what I got over here under all my papers and stuff. So what I'm looking for is something that would look like sky up there. So I'm going to have to trim that off. I'm being greedy right now. Okay. What about this one? Does that one look okay as a color? No, not quite. What else I got in here? Pockets. I could do a pink sky. This is actually fun. One of those pages.
Or I also have those that can go. This would look good as a white. Put this on here first and then do some little shingles. I think that's what we're going to do. So with this paper, I'm going to have to do several of these kind of, you know, just wrap all the way around, not quite. So I need something to go on the inside. Quite long enough that I want it. That one's pretty clean. I like all these doors. One up to there. Have the wrong side, I think I do. Cut it down. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around because, like I said, I'm going to do my shingles. So when that dries, well, while that's drying, So shingles start at the bottom, so I can put that one right there, and then put this one kind of this way, right there. I'm going to try and cut this one right down the middle. I think I'm going to put these two on the very bottom.
asking questions to you. I need that much. Not really. And with this one, I think I need to have a little bit longer. Actually, we could be trimmed off. I'm not going to go all the way up here. No, I'm not. So it could be folded around. Yep. Let's see which side is darker. Look this side. So I'm gonna kind of figure out where I want that one to to lay. You know, this is Lillian's thing, her trademark. I'm so glad she shared it because this worked perfectly with this. And then I need something over the back right there to stabilize that. We just choose that. I'm just putting this here to help hold up the roof because where I folded that, it's a little bendy right now. So I'm wondering if I need to angle it. That looks really good. I like it. The roof will put the chimney on top. So there is one. Let me see if we can do another one. I just don't know which door I want. That one's going to be too big. I don't know if you can see that. This one would probably look really good. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to glue the flat thing on because we don't need that. This time I'm not going to double fold it. Let me see. I don't want my. You can able to see my door. It's a little bit bigger than the door. I like this one. I could use one of these houses as a house. Bring it down to right there. So. I'm just cutting that off. What I'm going to do this time, instead of folding that twice, I'm just going to cut the end. That's probably, now that I'm thinking about it, it seems like that's what Lillian did. Was she just cut down a little further and then that way the whole Envelope wasn't cut. So, I'm going to get rid of it. Not to show this. Yeah. So, 
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all back here. Put the cut in the back. Let's be sure to go over to Jillian, uh, Lillian's page. I'll get it right in a minute. Because she has some beautiful houses over there. So now I'm trying to figure out. I think this is going to be too tall, but we will see. I want a little bit for the grass. Now I cut it and I didn't need to look. See where I was at. Okay. So right up here, I'm actually going to trim it and fold in down my top. That way I can trim a little bit and have it neater, straighter, maybe. So I'm going to miter these quarters again. Just tuck that down in there. And I'm just going to glue this, these edges over. These little houses are going to be so pretty with this. Now I need something to put down in there. I don't want to do this this time. Picture that might have. Looks like it might work. Let's see. Run in there just a little bit. I'm going to trim this one up here. And it's better to wait and let the glue dry instead of like me in a rush before you fold that down. I am going to go ahead and cut these right there. Just trim that. I may not even need to trim it too much more. But 
by doing this, it makes it a lot quicker because the other way actually is more dimensional though. So, I mean, I like both. So this may be something I'm working on a lot because tell you what I have a stack of envelopes so the one that jump now envelopes and this just turned out so pretty. So I'm going to throw my garbage away into my little trash bag and put all these pieces because they can be used for collage. The bigger pieces. I don't know about the smaller ones that I'm going to keep. Put some waste on there. So these are my two houses. It has a little pocket for my dirty hands. Another little pocket. I hope you enjoyed this video on these little houses that were inspired by Lillian. And I will leave her link below. So thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next time. Bye.